What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the add-on shadowed unit frames for you so you can get that real crispy clean UI in World of Warcraft. Check this out. Won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts providing the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time. All right guys, jumping right into this, I'm gonna try to make this as short and painless and sweet and easy on you and on me as I possibly can. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break this head on right down. I'm gonna give you my settings real quick and you guys can get your uh, uh, UI to start looking like mine. You guys can customize your stuff from there for your guys' own preference or if you wanna just copy my settings and get your stuff to look like mine, I'm gonna break it down for you right now. So after you download and install the add-on called Shadowed, Shadowed Uniframes, you're gonna type in forward slash SUF to load the add-on. Once you load the add-on right here, guys, you're gonna be in the general tab. You're gonna click the lock, uh, the unlock frames button. And what I have done right here is I have my player tab here. My target frame is here. The target of target frame is here. I over here on my right hand side, I have my boss frames for whatever bosses that I am fighting. And then my arena frames are stacked right there on top of the boss frames. Only one of these is gonna be enabled at a time, depending on if you're in PVE or PVP content. Uh, over here to the left, I have my party frames. If I'm mythic plusing, uh, or I just wanna see whatever party that I'm in. Below that is my raid frames all the way up to a 40 man. Right here is battleground frames. Right here it, next to that, that is my focus target and then below that is my focus targets target the way that i have mine set up guys is i'm just going to run through this so i'm just going to be able to give this to you you know just how i have it in the general settings i have disabled blizzard cooldown count okay uh in the global or for enabled units we'll go to this i have player and pet uh target focus target of target and focus target party raid uh, what else do I have here? Boss, Arena, Battleground, and that's the only thing that I have that's for my enabled units, okay? Um, for my hide blizzard stuff, this is hiding the blizzard frames. I have hide blizzard focus frames, hide player power frames, hide arena and battleground frames, hide party frames, hide boss, pet, player, and target frames. All these ones are disabled from blizzard. Um, within my settings for my player target, I have enable portrait in 3D mode on the left hand side. Uh, for the frame size, I have the scaling set at 155, 59 for the height, 190 for the width, and it's right here. And it, this is where it sits. I actually lined this up, if you guys could see right here off of uh, my bartender uh, add-on that's right below that, so that my main bars and my portraits and stuff is all aligned. Um, for my target now, this one's uh, enabled portrait in 3D, and it's on the right-hand side, so that there is a, a movable 3D portrait, and that one's on the right-hand side. Uh, for the frame size for this one, it is 150, 69 on the height, and 190 on the width. Uh, for my focus target, uh, there is no enable portrait or anything like that. Uh, positions on the left. For the frame size, it's 140%, 35 on the height, 120 on the width, and this is the size of the focus target. And then for my focus targets target, so whatever, uh, whatever my focus target is targeting, I can see it. Uh, that one there, no enable portrait or anything like that. Scale is just 100% and it's right here where you guys can see the little skull icon. This is whatever my focus target is then targeting. Um, for the battleground frames, um, this one here is class icon and it's on the left and you can enable portrait for it right here or you don't have to enable portrait, it's a preference. I don't have mine on. Um, enable combat text is there. All the rest of this stuff is all just standard and stock. I don't have any of that stuff turned on. Same thing for my pet frames, guys. Uh, the pet frame is only 100% and that one is set right here. I put that right below my uh, my main target frame so I can keep an eye on my on my little pet, my little handy guy, my right arm because I'm an unholy DK and you know keeping track of your pets if you're a hunter, a mage, that kind of stuff, warlock. You know, knowing what your pets are doing and keeping track of them is definitely very important especially if you have pets because they're a part of you and that's just uh that bar side is set at 30 and then the width is 190 again for that uh for party frames i have enable portrait enabled in that 3d and that one is on the left and that's over here for my party size um this is going to be preference to you guys for party. You could show it in party, hide it when you're in, in raid. You know, you hide, the, basically when you jump into a raid, it'll disable your party. I still like to see mine enabled. Um, for your frame scaling, this one's at 85%, 45 on the height, 190 on the width. And for raid frames, enable portrait. This one here is going to be class icon and this one is going to be on the left. Um, for the frame, it is going to be 85%, uh, height is 30 and width is going to be 100. Uh, for my arena frames, 
That one is an able portrait. It is 3D and it is on the right hand side and I'll grab my arena frames right here. There's none loaded because I'm not in an arena and there's no enemy targets for uh, this to load up. It would load up their class icon and it would move around and it would be on the right hand side. Now you can, when you get into arena, you can have this like set up to where it is like right here, if you guys want. When you, when you have your arena frames set up right here and you guys are running strictly arena, the ability to keep your eye centered right here in your screen means that your eye is not traveling to this corner, down here to the bottom, over here to the right, and then going back here. The, the quicker that you're able to assess what it is that you wanna look at and then get back to what is actually the main action, the faster that you're going to have reaction times and the better that you're going to play. So sometimes, depending on if I'm playing and pushing uh, top or tier content and I'm playing threes, usually only when I'm playing threes, I'll have my arena frames move to right here. That way I can simplify what's going on with my arena frames and they're right here more into my center line of vision. Other than that, they sit right over here, right where the boss frames is, boom, bam. And for boss frames, guys, that one, I don't have portrait enabled at all. Uh, frame size on that's just 140 for the height and 160 on the width. Okay, and now going back into my targets and my um, player frames. So on my target frames, guys, this is gonna be the most important. That way that you get your buffs and their debuffs to stack that's above them. Uh, on your targets frame, uh, we are on the target right now. So target frame, again, scaling's 150, 69 height, 190 on the width. For the auras, guys, the way that you want this one set up is buffs. You want the positioning. You want it to be on the top for buffs, okay? And then for debuffs, you want positioning to be anchored to buffs. So your debuffs, the positioning is going to be anchored to the position of the buffs. The positioning of the buffs is on the top. That way you have your buffs right here. You see what buffs are on the target and then you have the debuffs that are anchored to that and those stack accordingly right to each other because they're, they're anchored to each other. And again, the same thing is gonna go for uh, player frames for your auras. On the buffs, the positioning is going to be on the top and for the debuffs, the positioning is going to be anchored to the buffs, so you have your buffs here, and then whatever debuffs are, are on you are above that, and those are slightly bigger. Uh, icon size is going to be 16, guys, for uh, all of these auras on both uh, player frames and target frames. That's the icon size. Uh, per row is 10, and max rows is going to be one. And after you're done setting all that stuff up, you know, obviously lock it all back up, and things will pop up as you load into different things. You're going into Rage, as you're going into Mythic Plus, you're running heroic groups with dungeons, whatever it, it may be, you know, uh, uh, at your your rate your whole UI is going to change accordingly for shadow to unit frames and you're going to get that nice clean look. If you guys are wondering what add-ons that this is right here to uh, complement the rest of uh, my UI, this is details for a detail uh, for a damage meter and healing meters and the center right here is called bartender and then right here this is a Luxio script from Weak Auras. Okay. And again, if this has helped any of you guys out, you know, by all means, click all the little buttons, like, follow, subscribe, smash that like button, guys. Definitely help me get me into the algorithm so that we could help everybody else out that wants to, you know, kind of get a very, or just, you know, set up uh, their UI so that they have that nice, clean, crispy look, not necessarily even copy mine, just, you know, break down how to set the ad on up and the reasons why that you're gonna set everything up and try to keep that center viewpoint, everything centered up right there. That way your eye is not trying to look all over your screen and you're more in tuned with combat and everything that pops up and flashes with a reaction is more there in your center line of, of uh you know view that way your eyes aren't all over the place again if this has helped you guys out you know definitely smash that button help me out click all the little buttons guys like follow subscribe i'm lockout peace won't you do a favor for me? Take your mouse and click the button. Won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts providing the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind one minute at a time.